Meanwhile, thousands of protesters have entered Pakistan's capital city of Islamabad, calling for Prime Minister Imran Khan's resignation. The march is being led by a fierce critic and hardliner Islamist leader, Maulana Fazlur Rahman of the Jamiat Ulema e Islam Fazl Party. The march reached Islamabad last night. Shipping containers have been placed in key areas to avoid any breach by the protesters. Approximately 30,000 people have marched towards Islamabad for a showdown with the Imran Khan government. Significantly, the march is also supported by other prominent opposition parties, such as the Pakistan People's Party, PPP, and the Pakistan Muslim League, Nawaz, PMLN. Some reports suggest that the PMLN's Shabazz Sharif has a short full cooperation too. JUIF Chief Fazlu Rahman. Over 21,000 security personnel have been deployed across Islamabad alone for this Azadi march. Mobile internet services have been suspended in those areas. A worried Imran Khan has said that uh, the government will not create any hurdles in the march as long as participants follow the law, but he has warned of strict action if the agreement signed with his negotiation team is violated. The Pakistani government has kept the army on standby. The Imran Khan government has expressed concerns that some participants of the JUIF are carrying prohibited arms, a claim disputed by the protesters. Meanwhile, addressing the marchers in Lahore, Fazlur Rahman said that Pakistanis from Karachi to Islamabad were in agreement that Imran Khan should resign. But most of the Pakistani media has been forced to black out the march and the coverage of the protest has been limited. The government claims that Fazlur Rahman is promoting religious bigotry as the marchers have been chanting slogans against the Ahmadi community in Pakistan while moving from city to city. Also, the JUIF has banned its women party members from participating in the Azadi march. We on Pakistan Bureau Chief Fanas Malik now joins us live from Islamabad with the latest on the Fanas. Talk to us. Uh, we've seen protesters over there camped out with all basic necessities ever since they reached Islamabad. What is the situation right now? Well, it looks like, Krishna, that the protesters from JUIF or from the joint opposition that is mainly dominated by the Jamiatul Ulma Islam, Fazlur Rahman group, are all up with all uh, their pre preparations that they're here to be in Islamabad for at least a month. They have camps, they have uh, sleeping bags, they have uh, dry fruits, they have, uh, they have uh, uh, vegetables, they have gas cylinders, they have makeshift stoves, they have everything that they need to stay. I'm standing at Islamabad's Detroit. Now, this is that very point where the protesters intend on coming beyond this beyond the, these containers to my left at I for camera person can show you as well is the parliament house is the uh, presidency it's the prime minister office it houses key buildings of the Pakistani government but uh, 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 as we speak there is no decision of on whether the protesters would be coming in or not beyond this point roughly 10 kilometers from here is where the protesters are currently held up at uh, on the way from the Kashmir Highway on towards Jina Avenue and to this point, D Chalk, where I am standing, as we speak, the traffic is flowing till, till a point and it could not go through. But uh, uh, if at all a decision is done and the protesters, they actually march on because remember, I went there earlier today and protesters, protesters are very charged up. They want to come here at the D Chalk. In fact, they want to go beyond and take control of the Prime Minister's office, quote unquote. That is what their intention is. They're saying that they will not bow down anything on anything lesser than the Pakistani Prime Minister's resignation. And that is the whole sole intent. In a while from now, the uh, leader of this march, Jamiat ul uh, Ulma Islam uh, Fazlur Rahman groups, uh, leader Maulana Fazlur Rahman will be, addressing the, uh, will be addressing the march. And all eyes on that particular address, what will be the way forward? Because uh, as you speak, in my uh, six years of journalism, in my, uh, I've covered at least six or five, five of such sit-ins, uh, two of those that were done by the PTI in 2014-2016, that uh, which were done by the Pakistan Awami Tehreek in 2013-14 and 16 as well. But I've never seen so many protesters gathering up at one point. This is 40,000 plus people who are charged up, who are on a one-point agenda 
seeking the resignation of the Pakistani Prime Minister. Earlier today when I was uh, at the camp, I was at the protest site. Uh, uh, I spoke to uh, the medical team, uh, uh, the volunteers from a medical team. Let's have a look at that report first. Well, I'm standing in uh, the protest venue of the Azadi March by Jamaatul Muslim, the opposition Azadi March, and this is something really interesting. This is a uh, medical camp which is relatively very organized, a free medical camp. You can see there there's a skew of uh, protesters that are lining up for their quintessentials for the day. Uh, those who need medicines, those who need eye drops as well. Let's have a word with the doctors over here, with those who are providing medical facilities, and uh, uh, let's have a word with them, with them and try to understand. आप लोग ने यहाँ मेडिकल कैंप लगाया है यहाँ पे किस किस तरह की फैसिलिटीज अवेलेबल हैं हमारे साथ अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह इनर्जेसिक और एंटीबायोटिक और एंटी एसिड जितने भी दवाइयाँ हैं वो सारे हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं और इंजेक्शन और ड्रिप वगैरह एंटीबायोटिक भी हमारे साथ मकमल हमने लाए हैं और सुबह से तकरीबन हमने तकरीबन चार पाँच सौ कवर किए हैं बहुत सारे लोग आते हैं और इसको दवाई वगैरह देते हैं लोग दूर दूर से आए हैं उसने सफ़र कर दिया है उसके सर पर दर्द है उसको बहुत ज़्यादा मुश्किल पेश आए हैं उसकी वजह से हम उसको दवाई वगैरह देते हैं जमील फ्राम बुनेर मेडिकल सेंटर एंड दे आर ऑफ दिन दे आर वेलिंग टू प्रोवाइड फ्री मेडिकल केयर टू ऑल ऑफ द प्रोटेस्टर्स इट समथिंग यूनिक एंड समथिंग वेरी डिफरेंट बट दैट इज क्वाइट एसेंशियल फॉर गिविन द नंबर ऑफ प्रोटेस्टर्स दैट इफ देर इज एनी थिंग एनी एसेंशियल दैट इज नीडेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ मेडिसिन और मेडिकेशन दैट नीड्स टू बी प्रोवाइडेड टू एनी ऑफ द प्रोटेस्टर्स दैट आर ओवर हेयर इट शुड बी डन इमीजिएटली एंड दैट इज ऑल ऑफ दिस इज फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट अनस मलिक इन इस्लामाबाद पाकिस्तान फॉर वी ऑन वर्ल्ड इज वन